Now this story is called Beware of the Bears. I think it will be a little bit like a story you already know. When the three bears saw what Goldilocks had done to their cottage, they were hopping mad. Their porridge is eaten, chairs are broken, beds bounced on. Go after her, find out where she lives, ordered Daddy Bear. Baby Bear jumped on his scooter and sped after Goldilocks. In no time at all, he was back. She lives on the far side of the forest, panted Baby Bear. And what's more, she's gone out again and left her door unlocked. Good, said Mummy Bear. What are we waiting for? Let's see how she likes having uninvited guests. Baby Bear led the way through the forest to the Goldilocks cottage. The door was unlocked, just as he'd said. On the breakfast table were several open pancakes. Sorry, seven open packets. This isn't porridge, sniffed Mummy Bear. Baby Bear read the labels. Wheatos, munch flakes and puffo pops. Sounds all right to me, said Daddy Bear. Pour away, baby-o. These wheatos are too sweet, said Daddy Bear. These munch flakes are too noisy, said Mummy Bear. But these puffo pops are just right, said the baby bear, capipulting a spoonful towards Daddy Bear. A puffo pop hit Daddy in the eye. He sent a spoonful of wheatos and they splattered all over Mummy Bear's best blouse. Soon cereal was flying left and right, till the carpet and the walls and the ceilings were dripping with brown goo. Baby Bear turned on the radio. Let's dance, he squealed. Mummy and Daddy Bear tangled on the table. This table's too slippy, said Daddy Bear. They did the cha-cha around the curtains. These curtains are too rippy, said Mummy Bear. But this sofa's just right, sweet Baby Bear. So they all jumped on the sofa and did the bossa nova until... Next, the three bears looked upstairs. There were lots of things to try in the bathroom. The shaving soap's too soapy, grumbled Daddy Bear. This toothpaste too minty, gargled Mummy Bear. But this bubble bath is just right, murmured Baby Bear. From beneath a mountain of suds. All right, here we come, said Mummy Bear. Splash! They had a splashing time in the bath. And... Once they were clean and the bathroom was a mess, off they went to the bedroom. These pyjamas are too tight, said Daddy Bear, bursting the buttons. This mattress is too lumpy, said Mummy Bear, bouncing up and down. And these pillows are just right, said Baby Bear. Just right for a pillow fight! Baby Bear biffed Mummy Bear. Mummy Bear whacked Daddy Bear. Pillows burst, filling the air full of clouds of feathers. Till suddenly Daddy Bear stopped. Listen, he said. I hear someone. Quietly, the three bears creep downstairs. Goldilocks was in the kitchen. Gleefully, Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear and Baby Bear watched from behind the door. Goldilocks gasped when she saw the cereal spattered all over the walls. Her eyes grew large when she saw the ripped curtains and the gigantic hole in the sofa. She whistled when she saw the bathroom flooded with water and decorated with shaving foam. Next, Goldilocks went into the bedroom. She stared, opened mouth, at the sea of feathers, the burst bed springs. Then suddenly, three bears jumped out from behind the door. Surprise! They all shouted. We thought we'd pay you a visit, added Mummy Bear. Goldilocks looked at them and then looked at the room. And to the bears in astonishment, she threw back her head and laughed and laughed until her hair shook like golden springs. But aren't you mad at what we've done with your house? asked Daddy Bear. My house? <laughs> this isn't my house, giggled Goldilocks. But it must be, said Baby Bear. I saw you go in. Oh, that, said Goldilocks. The door was open. I thought I'd have a nose around. I'm always sneaking into other people's houses. I only came back because I left the teddy. Then if it's not your house, whose house is it? asked Daddy Bear. Oh, help, sweet Baby Bear. Looking out the window. Who is it? It says, 
Beware of the big bad wolf. Uh-oh.